titlematchnetwork.com. She's already been champion in many a promotion. Less than a year, two years into her professional wrestling career. It is astounding to see. When we say that Maya World is taking over the game, she's not just doing it here in San Antonio. She's taking over, pardon the pun, all over the world. Very well said, and here we go. Action about to get underway, Ooh. locking up in the middle of the ring. Strong lockup. Folks, this matchup, by the way, is sponsored by the No Gimmicks Podcast. Thank you so much to the No Gimmicks Podcast, as well as Brittany Brooks, sponsored by Bobby Beatty and Raw Deal IndyCard, and Maya World, spon sponsored by Trenda Mahela. And thank you to all of our sponsors. If you would like to be a sponsor, you can reach out to Mission Pro Wrestling across all forms of social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. They're on all of them. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I might sponsor everybody except the men's revolution because I'm a huge fan of everybody here at Mission Pro Wrestling. How could you not be, folks? The action is getting started here, and Brittany Brooks is starting to kind of feel out the type of competitor Maya World truly is. You know what, I'm just going to say this. It's Maya's world, and we're just living in it. <laughs> oh. Definitely are. And Maya. Wow. Oh. The cartwheel over Brittany Brooks. Leg sweep takes her down, goes to the pin. Brittany Brooks responding in kind. You're going to continue to see this throughout this matchup. Back and forth offense, high octane, intense athleticism between these two women. My world hits her with the arm drag from the so second cool. rope. Yeah. Athleticism on display with the oh. cartwheel into the roaring elbow. Brittany Books going for the lariat, gets caught. Maya's got her hooked. Oh. Thought she was going for a suplex. Often to just drop her down to the mat. And a face buster. My world, a house of fire. Into the cover. Look in the leg. Only a two count. Maya World, only 20 years of age. And as you mentioned, Izzy, Brittany Brooks, 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. Brittany Brooks recently graduated not only high school, she but did. college yes. at the age of 18 years old. That is astounding to do, especially as a professional athlete. It is. And I'm going to be honest, Brittany has really inspired me to go out and chase my academic dreams, like graduating early and possibly starting college early. So I got to give a big kudos to Brittany for really inspiring me. She's just so awesome, you guys. I mean, Kudos to you both, both for Brittany for achieving such as much as she has at such a young age. Izzy, likewise, yourself following the same Thank path. You. God knows it's better than what I was doing at 18 years old, but nonetheless, Ooh, Brittany Brooks so takes her down. My world refusing to be put away. My world kicks out at two. Brittany Brooks trying to fire up right now. Just laying in wait. Oh. The running Larry. You see, Brittany Brooks went through the space between the second and third ropes right to the outside. Very smooth. The athleticism on display. Here she comes. Pulling herself back in the ring. Slingshot elbow. But still just gets her a two count. Straight out of Phoenix, oh, Arizona. Brittany Brooks, she's going to be looking to walk away with the victory, go all the way back to Phoenix with that momentum under her belt. My world sent to the outside. Brittany Brooks. I mean, that's how you throw somebody out of the ring, just pushing them out. <laughs> that's right, just pure strength. Nothing fancy oh! about it, just like that. Nothing wow. fancy about the elbow to the jaw. Brittany Brooks, here we go. One, two. Still not enough. Just both of these competitors refusing to be put away. My world, to her credit, capitalizing on the time after the near fall, going for a submission. Trying to get that arm trap pectoral stretch locked in right now. My world doing everything in her power to do so, and I think it's finally locked in. Ooh, I would not want to be in Brittany's position, I'm going to be honest, you guys. I'm right there with you. I wouldn't want to be in that position either. That does not look like a comfortable predicament to find yourself in. Brittany Brooks, to her credit, fighting, clawing towards the ropes, just right there. Can she make it? Managing to fight out. Both ladies get into their feet, but my oh. world just beats her just by a second. Hitting her with those forearm shots, drives Brittany Brooks back to the corner. And a second is all it will take to make the difference in this matchup. Truly 50-50 in this affair. Only one of these women is going to walk away as your winner here tonight. 
Ooh. The crowd trying to get behind Brittany Brooks. Maya World staying on the offense, not giving her a moment to breathe. Uh, additional time here. Oh, big boot. Might have taken a second too long. Brittany Brooks going to take control of this one. Got her up. Oh, it looked like she was going for a tornado DDT. Opted to go into the suplex. My world still blocking it. Oh, ripcord into the rolling elbow one more time. But oh. Brittany Brooks with the insiguri. Both women down. Now, Incredible wow. exchange. This, that was so cool. This is a pivotal moment right here. One of these women is going to have to find a way to make their way back to their feet. And again, this is, this is anyone's match right now. Both of these women absorbing so much punishment. It is going to come down to who gets to their feet first. Can they beat the count? Can they capitalize on the momentum? Brittany Brooks making it up first, looks like. But my world's ready for her. Ooh. Just powerful strikes. My world firing up. Two running forearms. This is going to be a third. Potentially so, rolling through right here. Oh. Into the kick to the side of the skull. God, what a shot. Just a two, maybe a little bit too close to the ropes there. The ring position may have been the hardest thing for Maya's mind, unfortunately. Something to keep in mind going forward, of course. Maya World picks her up. She's got her in the front face lock. Brittany Brooks. Oh, oh. catches her with the knee. It's not the time to be taunting your opponent in the middle of the match. Got caught with a snapmare, but had the wherewithal to go for it one more time. Oh, I was waiting all day for that. Up at the count of two are the shoulders of Maya World. And I think that speaks to just the punishment that Maya World is going through. Just barely got that shoulder up in time. And, and folks, one thing that we haven't even hit on through the entirety of this matchup, Brittany Brooks and Maya World are both making their Mission Pro Wrestling debuts here tonight. It is a night of debuts, a night of all these women wanting to make their presence known here at Mission Pro to you at home, to everybody across the world. As Brittany Brooks hits that knee to the back of the head. And still just a two. Izzy, what do you think about which is what we're seeing so far? Just the oh, heart man. of both these women on display is just incredible. I'm going to be honest, Brittany, she's really going to have to dig deep to even try to keep Maya from getting an opportunity to getting the three count. She's looking to do just that. She is. Oh. Oh. But Maya wow. ready for her. Caught her with the cutter. Yeah, out of nowhere into the cover off the cutter. One, two. Oh my God, I thought that was it. I'm gonna be honest, I really did think that was it. From the sounds in the crowd, you were not alone in that, Izzy. I mean, from my world, you gotta be thinking, what else is it gonna take? I mean, both of these women should be thinking, what else is it gonna take? They're hitting each other with everything but the kitchen sink so far. And Izzy, I gotta ask you, when does the doubt to start to creep in whenever you are competing in a matchup like this? I mean, both these women have been throwing their all at one another and still this match rolls on. Oh man, well, I think personally for Brittany Brooks, that self-doubt never seeps in. She's just so confident in herself and her abilities and also her training and her background, everything. So I really don't think she ha she's gonna have a moment of self-doubt in this match. Oh. My world. Oh! oh! Looked like she was going for a head scissors to take over from Brittany Brooks from the top rope, but Brittany caught her, sent her face first to the mat. Not too effective. Got her with the super oh kick. Oh my goodness. Off the slingshot. And Maya World, she's going up top. What are we seeing here? Maya World taken to the oh. heavens here tonight. Oh. Maya World going around the world. A split legged moonsault. Wow. <laughs> that is all she wrote. That Maya was World. incredible. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Introducing first, from Houston, Texas, she is the powerhouse, Charity King! And 
introducing her opponent, Ellie from Fort Worth, Texas. She is the undeniable Emmy Camacho. live on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. As the powerhouse Charity King takes on undeniable Emmy Camacho 101 action. And there you see why they call Charity King the powerhouse on full display right from the get-go. Charity King did not come here to play. She's here to win championship and to dominate the women's division of Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And Emmy Camacho better watch out. This is Emmy Camacho's first appearance here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And she might have bit off more than she can chew as Cherry King is in the mood here tonight. But Emmy Camacho, to her credit, not backing down here. Women's wrestling has been the premier division here on Title Match Network and Hurricane Pro. One of the best places to see the best in women's wrestling. You know that Danny B will be defending her Hurricane Pro uh, Women's Championship later on tonight. And once upon a time, she and Charity King were the best of friends. And Charity King still a chip on her shoulder that she is not walking around with the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship around her waist, and that attitude might get the best of her as you see Emmy Camacho taking advantage of the hubris of powerhouse Charity King, but I don't know how smart it is for Emmy to, well, I, I say like, use, instead of using that power, using that technique, and was able to maneuver Charity King all the way down to the canvas, and Charity King isn't careful. Emmy Camacho could Move, maneuver this into a pinning combination. Charity working her way back up to a vertical base here. And he's stomping on the foot. And now takes advantage. Muscle and pain. Charity King never saw a rule she wouldn't bend or break to get her way. And undeniable Emmy Camacho is going to have to do her best to take advantage. But again, there's the power on display from Charity King. Strength for strength, pound for pound, Charity King, one of the most dominant women in this vision in her young career. I'm looking to teach a lesson to Emmy Camacho, but Emmy got that foot up there. Not trying to Irish whip, I'm not sure how smart that was. Reversal there from Charity King, but up and over goes Emmy. And now look at that deep arm drag from the undeniable Emmy Camacho, and there's another one. And look at that, oh, maybe went to the well one too many times. Charity King caught her here. Goes for a big clothesline, Emmy able to duck it. Ducks again, up and over, head scissors, oh, tilt the world takes Charity King down. There's a reason why Emmy Camacho has won championships all over the state of Texas. She's won titles for WAW, BIW, Sabotage Wrestling. But even is that enough? This Cherry King caught her and oh my god, backbreaker. Knee right to the spine of Emmy Camacho. Look at how proud Charity King is of her work with feigning the injury, making fun of the, the back. That's in clearly a bad way after that backbreaker from Charity King. Watch the hair. The powerhouse charity just woman handling Emmy all across this ring here in Ford Park. And again, tossing her like a rag doll. Charity King just dominating here. Goes for the cover. Tries to end it. Charity got a two count. Emmy's got a lot more fight left here, and he got that hand right to the back of the head. The disrespect on full display from Charity King. Charity King. He feels she's the rifle Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And it's easy to see why with this dominant performance thus far. Charity King. 
wants to dominate the women's division, not just here at Hurricane Pro, but all across the nation. Big overhand chop. Right to the chest of Amy Kamasha. Jerry King still young, her career goes colliding, and again, Emmy able to move out of the way. Side Russian leg sweep connects here. Goes for the cover quickly. Quickly does Emmy, and two count only. The big clothesline takes Emmy Camacho down. Into the cover again. Hooks both legs. And Hurricane Pro official radio got a two count only. Best in women's wrestling again right here. On title match network as you can see on display right here, right now for Hurricane Pro. As you see again, Charity driving that knee right back into the spine. Emmy Camacho putting extra pressure on the undeniable Emmy Camacho. She's trying to feel off this crowd, trying to fight from underneath here, trying to maneuver her back so she's got that knee right to the side of her Emmy Camacho here. Really needs to get back up to vertical base. She does, but can she break free of the Titan grip of Charity King? Oh, there's a face buster there. That'll do it. Now Emmy's got to catch some momentum. She's going to take out the powerhouse. And look, Big Luth that press takes King down. Wailing on top of his forearms. Charity King wants nothing to do it. Look at that big clothesline. And there's another one. Emmy's the house of fire here. Goes for the cutter and connects. Oh my God. Emmy Camacho goes in for the cover. Is that enough? And oh, Charity got the shoulder up. Woo! You see Emmy with the referee. Asking if that was three. He's saying it was a two. That was a great offensive flurry from Emmy Camacho. And I think Charity King is just as surprised as everyone else here. Emmy Camacho showing a lot of fire and now taking things up a notch. Going up top to the top rope, high risk district. Will she connect? Big cross body. But Charity King tried to catch her. She got caught to a pity combination and got a two count only again for Emmy. Great fire, great desire from Emmy Camacho. Will she be undeniable here tonight at Hurricane Pro? Cherry King caught her up, picks her back up, and goes to a, looking for a sidewalk slam there, but Emmy tried to reverse it. And look, trying to stitch it in, she connects with the cross face. The cross face connects. Will Charity King tap out? Muscle and pain, Charity King, how much pain can she endure? You can see Charity crawling, crawling as far as she can, trying to get to that bottom rope, but she's a long way away. Referee right there to see. I was prepared coming to this matchup for Charity King to dominate, but Emmy Camacho has brought a lot of fight to Charity King, and. Charity King again still trying to crawl, still in this, hasn't tapped out yet. Still a lot of fight in the powerhouse. Reaching for that bottom rope, she just barely grabs it. Which will force Amy Camacho to make the break. Oh, and then King. Great ring awareness, throwing throat first, Amy Camacho in that middle rope, and there's the big powerhouse slam. Cover here, and that's it. TitleMatchNetwork.com. TitleMatchNetwork.com.
TitleMatchNetwork.com.
titlematchnetwork.com
contest. Two minutes has elapsed in this championship contest. Matchnetwork.com. There's a kinship that comes with being, you know, someone's significant other. And 
Masha Slamovich and Akira are a couple, so they know each other <coughs> more intimately than any one of us can ever guess. However, Rembrandt and Cosmic have been on the road. They have been training together for the last five to six years, oh. but they're just gonna go here. I'm gonna say this early on, not based on anything in particular. Some, when feelings are involved, you can make mistakes. That's very true. These two are all business when it comes to Rembrandt and Cosmic, the art uh -oh. of war. Whoa, look at that, look at that. He slid right out, smooth as that. Oh! oh. Uh, maybe uh, leaving your partner wasn't the best thing. Ooh. Akira with those with the strong he's, offense. He's just. Look at the explosion. Oh, wow, what a bridge and an arch on that. And the Masha. Oh, the kick. goodness. Only a count of one. one. Masha, Masha talks jokes with the best of them, but she does it in Russian. What in the Brighton Beach is going on? <laughs> oh, goodness. What's this going to be? Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh my god, he's got a surfboard here. Oh! Oh! oh. With the strong kicks to Cosmic. Now Akira. Oh! Ooh, with an offensive move on his own. Here comes Rembrandt. Oh! Close Rembrandt line, cuts Masha off with a clothesline. Here he goes. Oh! Got that Rembrandt. euro. You heard Rembrandt talking trash? He is. Strong strikes back here. Oh, oh Strong goodness. For him. He's, <laughs> he's here comes Cosmic. Oh! Cosmic is never too far if you see Rembrandt. Com Cosmic is, is never too far. Cosmic is on a meteoric rise here. Oh! What a move Tag there! Team action by both Cosmic and Rembrandt. One. Then it's a one count. Cosmic debuting for Ladies Night Out in North Carolina, then debuting for Women's Wrestling Army in Chicago. All of this inside of her rookie year. Wow. You have to, yes, she's been training for a while, but this is her breakout year, and, and all her success has to be attributed to Rembrandt taking her and making her her own piece of art, her own piece of work. These guys, they, they've been a bit of a duo. I don't even think I have ever, like I've seen Rembrandt with Cosmic. Uh, and that was my first time I had ever- Oh, oh wow! Oh, that's a very good kick to the face. Stiff boot to the face. Well, Masha about uh, to break the pin. Yeah, of course it was, because like for Rembrandt, this is a huge opportunity. Imagine knocking off Akira and Masha. These guys go everywhere and they're having these crazy matches. Here you come, they come into your hometown. One, that they shouldn't beat you. Two, you're not gonna let them beat you. You're not gonna let them walk all over you. Look at, and Cos, yeah. We see it. That's right. I was saying that. They're they're well old That's machine. He's the main event, Rembrandt. It's all professional, as far as we know. Yes. Professional oh. admiration. Maybe they care for each other, but they're not. He's uh, he's uh, Akira's a little off balance there. And the Rembrandt taking advantage. He's yanking his neck. Oh. The referee didn't see any of that. Cosmic just kicking Akira in the face. You oh, can, you can tell Eric Cosmic and Rembrandt, uh, this is not their first time doing stuff like no, this to people. No, they're, they are a unit. Akira, oh! oh big chop. Oh, oh, back to the, to the Did you ever see his back? <laughs> his back, he's walking in, his back is hurt. Yeah, that's that hurt. true. Oh, a swift kick to the mid rope. And Woo! a strong chop by Rembrandt. They are staying on them. Look at this. Quick tags. Yeah, Quick tags. Uh, I don't speak Russian or anything, but I'm thinking she's saying what's going on. Or probably. Or, uh, I mean, maybe that's probably the PG version of what she's saying. That's Absolutely. Frequent tags in and out. They, they might have the advantage when it comes to knowing each other. They might. Oh! oh, strong strike. Masha doesn't show a lot of compassion, but when you have a, essentially her significant other in there, yeah. I mean, uh -oh. oh, the elbow pads come off. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Rembrandt, please. Uh... Whoa, oh, look at that. What a move. Try to get that arm. He's, he's got to get that arm in. He's got wow. The, he's got the arm. 
and he, he hooked the leg too, so he couldn't touch the ropes. Did you see that? Then he readjusted him. And now he's look, a little bit of that jujitsu in there. He's trying to get him in a triangle. I would assume. Oh, oh, oh cosmic, Cos cosmic is pounding down on Akira. I think in English he's saying, "Come on." Yeah. It could be. It could be really anything. I, I, A lot of trash talk from a guy. Oh, that was just in a triangle. To Masha. He was just—he was just in a triangle a moment ago. Oh, uh, Akira talking trash on the ground. Cosmic right, right, coming away. Oh. Masha off the ring. Cosmic trying to make sure Akira sees stars. Oh, oh. Whoa. Got him. Oh. And oh. Super kick. oh. What's going on here? Oh, wow. What a move. That's got to be it. That calf kick to the jaw into a German. Masha wow. Masha breaking the pin. Rembrandt really thought it was a three there. You saw that calf kick. The momentum of the calf kick knocked Kira off his feet. He was already groggy. Then it let Cosmic use that momentum to hit a perfect German right there on Akira. And he's uh, they're not letting this guy breathe. They have stayed on this guy. They've been giving him the business consistently. Masha wants and she wants she wants a piece of cosmic. She wants to probably swing wants, on Rembrandt she wants too. To smoke from everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, which again isn't isn't a foreign thing when you see Masha Slamovich. You you are used to seeing her bringing it to whoever her he opponent is. He the eye on that tag. <laughs> Rembrandt stomping Akira. Tags in Cosmic. Oh. Masha Slamovich. Oh, look at those donkey kicks. Oh, ran to that boot. Oh, that far from Akira. Akira firing oh. up. He's, oh. oh, my goodness. Akira's on fire. Oh, got him on the apron there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, using his momentum to throw him back in the ring. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's an Oku. He didn't have enough left in him. I'm telling you, he's just running on adrenaline. There. He doesn't have enough in him to go for that pin. That pin was crucial. That, was, that, that may have been the end of the match right there. If he had enough to pin him, but he he's just been did eating it. the offense the entire match. Here attacks in Masha. Cosmic. Oh, oh drop, drop kick. kick by Masha. Oh, ducks under. Oh, head kick. Oh. Oh, oh God. Masha's making Cosmic eat her knee. Oh, gosh. Masha is on fire. I believe that's... Oh! Masha making sure Cosmic sees stars. One, two, and that's a two count. Masha was bringing, was bringing the business there. I think she was saying, like, you don't mess with her man. or uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what she said. She Maybe said she was looking for a pile driver here. Maybe she put a hex on uh, Cosmic. I don't know what no. she was saying. Masha, well, no. I don't think Cosmic. Cosmic. Oh, oh, oh I've seen looking, this before. I saw that before. before. Oh, three. Here he goes. Oh, oh my God. That's it. Masha's asleep. I'm telling you, Masha's asleep. That's all. Here comes Akira. Oh, Akira making Breaking the save. The pin before it even starts. Yeah, because you knew that was it. They won last time at Black Castle <laughs> Fest with that. Akira has had it up. Oh, wow, what he a swing shot. He, he has not been holding back against Cosmic. And now he wants a piece of Rembrandt oh. with a big clothesline there. The Death Samurai. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Turned him inside out with that. He Here threw so coming. much of his weight into it, he no, got himself under, off balance. Oh, oh. there's another, another head kick. Oh, it's over. Here she go. Oh, snap, snap suplex. suplex. Cover, that's it. One, two, and it's a two. Only two. It's down to the women now. And I'm going to say this, like, Akira threw everything he had into that clothesline, knocked himself off his feet to get Rembrandt to flip inside out like that. That's under again. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful Tebow suplex. It's over. Cosmic it's saying over it's is over. What she says. She's looking for that, your favorite, for, no, she's looking for that hooking Michinoku. She goes Starfall, I believe. But Masha Masha's blocks it. blocking it. Masha's not gonna, another oh, kick to wow! Him. Did you hear that? Good he night! that from here. Oh! And here it goes. Look at that white knight driver. 
She's had a decent time. Here comes Rembrandt. Oh. Grabbing Monster by the hair. But Akira. Akira's not going to allow it. Oh. Oh, that rolling, rolling kick. kick. Oh, here we go. We've seen this before. 10 to uh -oh. finish. Oh, oh that's God. all. In One, stereo. Two and three. That is all she wrote, folks. Your winners, Masha Slamovich and Akira. Kinsey coming out here acting as cool as the other side of the pillow and I'm not sure that this ring is big enough to contain the ego that is Kinsey Page in conjunction with Dylan McQueen at her side. Uh, Jordan Grace may be coming into this thinking it's going to be the same Kinsey as she do you see there. Uh, the Kinsey that she went against a year ago, they shook hands, and now it's a different Kinsey in the middle of the ring going up against Jordan Grace, and you don't want to go power for power with Jordan Grace, an amazing athlete um, and a woman who has pulled out fits of strength, the, the likes of no women wrestler, maybe since China have we seen uh, a woman pull out the strength that Jordan Grace can do. And Kinsey goes to shoot her off into the corner. Uh, Jordan Grace reverses. Kinsey comes out and takes a big shoulder tackle. A second shoulder tackle sends her to the mat. And Jordan Grace is now hooking her for what looks like could be a DDT. Nope, she's going for that huge jackhammer. Going for a one and a two and almost a three count already at the opening of this contest. Kinsey is, uh, Kinsey is reeling in the corner. And Dylan McQueen is trying to offer her some, either some advice or some solace because she is in the middle of what looks to be a war that is already erupting in this ring. And, and Jordan lifts Kinsey up to the second row. Kinsey perched on the top. And what Jordan looks like she may be going for a muscle buster type of maneuver, but Kinsey is reversing out of it. And Jordan Grace uh, went for a shot. Oh! Kinsey came down on that arm. Jordan Grace went for a shot, Kinsey kicked the arm, and then came back down on the arm, and is now focusing on the arm of Jordan Grace, trying to take out some kind of limb, trying to get some kind of leverage, only a one count from Kinsey, and this match is almost too fast to call, as both women are, are laying everything on the line already. If this is the beginning of this match, I can only imagine what's going to happen from here on out as Kinsey wrenched the arm and brought it straight down to the mat on Jordan Grace, and she's focused on something. She's focused on something. She wants the win, and she thinks maybe uh, wearing down the arm of Jordan Grace can do it is Dylan McQueen. Dylan McQueen, that rotten individual, getting himself involved in this matchup and going for a one on, again. Grabbing those ropes, that's the ring awareness of Jordan Grace going for that uh, going for that count, but Jordan Grace knew where she was in the ring. Kenzie sends her to the floor and she is at the she is Dylan McQueen is laying a boot in on Jordan Grace and then running off, keeping his eye on the ref at all times. And these women are outside of the ring and they are fighting on the floor. Things have just gotten real ugly for Jordan Grace as Kinsey rams that arm into the steel post. As I said before, things are looking real ugly for Jordan Grace already. And uh, Kinsey is taking advantage of here. Kinsey is is uh, is is not new to this game. Trained by Dr. Tom Pritchard, trained by Kane, and she knows that when the lights go down, 
it's her time to shine or it's her opponent's time to shine and she's going to try and take advantage every way she can and go into whip her in but jordan grace is hanging on to the top rope and breaks it away throws a big throws a big elbow sending kenzie getting some leverage but jordan grace came in kenzie caught her with the knee hits the ropes and jordan grace with a huge spine buster right off but she's holding on to that arm Kenzie's done some damage to that arm, and Jordan Grace caught some, getting some separation here from what has been uh, Kenzie and Dylan McQueen's game plan, which is taking out the arm of Jordan Grace and weakening something to get the win on Jordan Grace. Kenzie defeated Jordan Grace the first time around, and if she would just have faith in her own abilities instead of focusing on trying to catch the upper hand with someone like Dylan McQueen, oh, huge body slam, then maybe, just maybe, she could catch a win again. But Jordan Grace is not letting up one iota as Kenzie hit her with a huge chop, and that's a third Michin that's, that's a third body slam. And then on the third one, hitting that Michinoku driver, only a two count from Jordan Grace. Already a fantastic matchup. And already, both of these women are one move away from defining their careers. Jordan Grace already defined hers, but Kenzie is one move away from defining her career. If she can get a second win on Jordan Grace, what an, oh! Huge double knees in the back of the neck. This could be Kenzie's venture here. This could be it. One, two, only a two count as Kenzie is, is in, in, in my opinion, she's showing what she's got at this point. If she can just stay focused, she could possibly get the win. She looks like she's going for a full Nelson type of maneuver. And she went for that. She went for that cutter. Jordan Grace. Ooh, huge big elbow. And Jordan Grace with a gut wrench. Power bomb on Kenzie. One, two, only a two count. Kenzie found something deep down and kicked out. Jordan Grace with that gut wrench power bomb. Amazing maneuver already. And then, like I said before, in the blink of an eye, the tides have turned. And Jordan Grace has the upper hand in this matchup. You gotta think she's still feeling a little bit from that damage done to the arm. And she looks like she's going for that pump handle, that pump handle float over, but Kenzie's throwing those elbows, trying to get out of that maneuver there, goes for the kick. Jordan Grace reverses with a huge slap to the face, going for another power bomb. But Kenzie rolls her out, floats over. She could get a three here. One, two, and only a two count, but she rolled right on through, Kenzie rolled right on through herself, hit with the super kick. A nice super kick right into the cutter. Two, two maneuvers, one, two, only a two count. Good Lord there, nothing but the bottom of the boot on that first super kick, and then right into the cutter, damage done, and Dylan McQueen jumped up on the apron, and Crowley has gotten involved and now Jordan Grace has got that chokehold locked in and just like that it's the end of the match Kenzie is tapping out to the chokehold this match is over she took her eye off the ball with Dylan McQueen in the corner Dylan McQueen tried to get involved Crowley gave him one four Kenzie wasn't paying attention Jordan Grace locked in that chokehold and just like that a chokehold is the end of this matchup. That's a that's a tap out for Kenzie and Jordan Grace is victorious at the end of this first legendary flawless event.
TitleMatchNetwork.com. I would like to welcome and congratulate all three of you on reaching the finals of the Queen of the North Tournament. They, oh. they do. They do. Introducing the no. first fighter here from Charlotte, North Carolina. This is Brittany Shane. <laughs> Secondly, she is fighting out of Albany, New York. In the corner to my left, this is the courageous Christina. here for the Queen of the North. Excuse me, uh, the governor's here. Let me uh, give no, him my No, why, why are you leaving? I'm going to leave you two alone. No, 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 you don't That's have to luck. go. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to, you don't have to go. You don't know, what, what is the meaning of this? Is there a reason? Is there? there was, in fact, a reason. Yeah. First of all, What's you know, as, as the governor, I have to watch an incredible match like this and watch who wins the Queen of the North. Uh-huh. But uh -huh. also, I wanted Journey Burke to... Ah, yes, it was Burke, huh? Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Oh, shit. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah, whatever. Pleasure. Big fan. Big fan of your stuff. He, he's a liar. Can't say the same thing. Are you familiar? I have a, I have a demo tape. Would you call the match to stop trying to flirt with my clients? I'm here to study. You're I'm here to watch. Yep. And backslide! Several near falls here since the start of this contest. As the Taurus Mimi now in control of Jade. Oh, inside cradle. And a two. You know, a lot of people have been sleeping on Brittany Jade. They kind of look at her as an afterthought in this match, which I think you can't really do. She's been doing her thing. She's the dark horse in this match. Yeah, I, I think all three competitors have as much a chance as any. And I think Mimi being pegged as the favorite, if you will, is a little overzealous. I have to say that. I can definitely see why they, you know, she's uh, been a multiple champion in this area before she was signed to NXT, following on Sloan Jacobs. So she has that television experience. She has that uh, recognition around the crowd. Absolutely. But again, Christina Marie's been killing it ever since she lost that last year's Queen of North. Her attitude has changed. But Brittany Chade has been on a big trajectory. People, you know, who might not be familiar with her in this area, she's slowly doing her thing. Now, Journey, do you believe that next year you'll be ready for the Queen of the North? Recall, I was not pinned at this year's Queen of the North. I do recall. So, really, I should be in this match. However, I will give them their credit. They are all excellent competitors. I know Christina Marie inside and out. I don't think we can count her out today. Leg hook, leg hook. And Mimi quick to, to bring up the cover. You make some very valid points. I just want to make sure that mentally, as a competitor, you're going to be there next year. Absolutely. I... Wow, very innovative offense there. Look at this. Double pin by Jade. You see, that's what I said. You gotta keep your eye. She is yeah. the ex, she's the wild card in this match. Yeah, I've got my eye on her for sure. You definitely, and that's why I wanted you out here to see. And all these. the fans have been having an eye on your progression as a competitor. You're doing wonderful, great matchup earlier on. Yes. And I love the way you handled that um that maleficent traffic cop in the city. It was, it was fabulous. I read the article about that. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Could you watch the stuff trying to flirt with my clients? Would you stop it? Be professional. There's a big match going on right here. often I get to talk to a lawyer. Good, she doesn't want to talk to you. She knows about you. I'm very expensive. You probably couldn't afford my hourly rate. I have a so. lot of credit cards. No, and they're, well, all, and they're all maxed out. Listen, if you pay my rate, I'll be there. Oh, but well. He, he Brittany Jade is not having a good time at this point. But. And now we got some back and forth action between Christina and Mimi. I think they looked at Brittany as an afterthought. Just hung around the corner to say, get out of our way. Yeah, you but don't that, belong. Yeah, but an opportunity created for Christina now that she just sacked the notorious one. That's what you, I mean. Again, we saw how she handled herself against Darius. 
This, okay, this is, an, and that's, this is an edge of Christina Marie that I have not seen. Well, ever since Christina Marie's matchup against Zarius Carter, yes. we've seen completely, a complete 180 since then. The confidence is, I mean, if, if as that last match was amazing with Marcus Mathers. If you can hang with Darius Carter, and I don't think a lot of people thought Christina Marie was capable of that. She proved it, so that was her coming out party. Now, this is the next biggest opportunity for her, but this is a big challenge between Brittany Jade, who is the wild card, as I said. She could pull this off. Or Notorious Mimi, the established superstar in this match. Speaking of which, Mimi tries to reinsert herself oh. into this three-way, and she does. We're talking Queen of the North Finals. It's Summer on Smash from Alma Pan here at the Mecca. One, two, and a two count at the Phil Sheridan building. The Phil Dunphy building. Well. Now, Journey, have you been Somebody studying these three athletes outside of this match? Have you been watching tape of all of them? Absolutely. I mean, I've had two matches with Christina Marie, so I had to study her. I know her stuff inside and out. Mimi, I've seen her around. We've shared the locker room a couple times, so I've been able to watch her matches. And, yeah, she's great. And Brittany but, Jade, what are your thoughts on wow, this? Wow, uh, big sack to the outside. Miss Punk Jade, Rock. Miss Punk Rock. The blue hair, I love it. But... I think Brittany Jade and I could have probably a great match. Yes. I'd like to see Brittany Jade versus the Law of Attraction for sure. I'd like to see that as well. Mm -hmm. She's hung out to dry right now. Oh. Christina Marie making this match hers as of right now. Notorious Mimi, I mean. That's right. Yeah, get it right. I know you're distracted by the Law of Attraction. But... Listen, it happens. I mean, I can't blame him, but I can't Honestly. be mad at him. Christina Marie respawns in this contest. I mean, that just shows you I should be in this match. But you should, but as we've talked about in the past, it's a slow and steady game. It is. Two wins, we're on the path to the next Queen of the North. Exactly. And I, like, as I told people, I don't want people thinking it's nepotism when you get your shot. When you win, which you are, it's going to be definitive. It's Can not because yes. of AJ Penn. It's not because of any outside. Uh, shut up. Because hey, outside factors. I do because. all my own work in that. Yeah. Match. Did I get involved at all in her contest tonight? I mean, you Emily, not, you I mean, Emily might have been distracted by my dance moves earlier. Maybe, you know, she was feeling the tuxedo, but maybe, you know, she was distracted. And by maybe my he tries to make a save there. Raw animal magnetism, but that's for another day. <laughs> you need to laugh so hard at that. <laughs> Back and forth action here by two of the three determined competitors to become the queen of the North. It's the Chuck Bass in that's what it is. Watch it is. out! <laughs> oh, oh no. you see? Brittany Jane. Jane, you know, this is this is actually her coming out tonight. Great shot there, the three competitors. Brittany is absolutely holding her on here today. She might have, you know, gotten wind. I mean, I'm sure she knew that a lot of people were not considering her as coming out on top here. And I think that's that's giving her more ammunition to prove to the BCW faithful that she belongs here. You know, I know the exact feeling, so that's probably why I'm relating so much to Brittany Jade today. Yes. When I came into BCW, nobody expected anything from me until oh. I teamed up with the governor. You know, see? She's, she's smart. She, she is very smart. Well, she's a lawyer. Yeah, so she knows. Yeah. Maybe just you should, a, maybe just a battle of fisticuffs here. Maybe you should study her instead of flirting with her, you jerk. I, no, I, I, I have studied her as a broadcast journalist. Uh, I'm sure. Jade now serves the close lines. Besides how unpredictable she is, she has a, re a wild uh, strongness to her, a wild power factor yeah. that you wouldn't expect. Well, lower center of gravity by comparison to the other two competitors, but very explosive in execution. Well, Christina's a power lifter herself. She's competed in many competitions, but Brittany Jada says she's deceptively strong. Yes. Oh, right oh, wow. With that drop kick. Wow. Again, who would... I don't think a lot of people... Whoa! Wow! Double rolling next, reverse next step, almost. One, two. Selection. Now go See, for the other one. This is smart. I like her. Uh, you know, I'm very impressed with Brittany Jenna. I was with her first outing, but uh, yeah, very impressed tonight. And you know, me and Shane Fair, we discussed this on our Twitter Spaces that this is a different match than we would have seen at the Queen of North Finals because they're all coming in fresh. They haven't competed in it. Oh, oh, but great pump kick there by the notorious one. And, and that's why Mimi is Mimi, and that she's been where she's been. You really, everyone's on the edge of their seat right now. You can't tell who's going to take it. Both competitors get a the seven, 732. Kick. Is that the area code here? I, I believe so. Okay. 
five one six. Also. No, that's 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 Bronx, I think. No, I think it's here. No, I don't. I think. Are you sure? We'll have to check. I think picture okay. the Bronx. All right. Nobody knows. Nobody cares about the Bronx. Miss Burke, are you on the Twitter? I am on the Twitter. Let me get Journey you on the Burke. Twitter. Yeah. Yes. Journey Burke Esquire. Yeah, everybody should follow her, not just Cheyenne stalking her. That's Go true. follow her. <laughs> Go follow Journey Burke on Twitter. No free legal advice, though. Yeah, no. No, no, I just, just messaged you for quotes. That's all. Fair enough. Big German suplex there. He's cheap. Oh, waist lock. Oh. Marie goes for the ride. Nice. Almost a snap German. Yeah, but right watch there. out for Mimi as she scales to the top rope. One, two. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful break of the cover that yeah. nobody expected. Just enough to break the cover. Yes. Like you said, AJ, that's why Mimi is who she is, and that's why she's gotten to where she was. Without question. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, she's, she's top of her game. She's always been. And now Mimi she's showing able to the sidestep as Christina. Watch out! Double oh. spear! Wow, is this gonna double cover? What? Oh what? my god! There's nice extensions in her hair today. Congratulations, you are the queen of the North Four winner. I mean, this took months in the making to come to have this final match, but tell me, how are you feeling in this moment as the winner? I'm feeling like a freaking winner! Yeah! You deserve it! From the beginning, you deserve it! They are right. They are right, she's busted her ass. You Not just here, for the four or five years I've known her. You deserve it! You deserve it! From the beginning, I said I was gonna be the queen of the North. Cause I am more North than any competitor back there, female or male. Shot and wow. The Queen of the North stands high on the throne. Titlematchnetwork.com. Titlematchnetwork.com. Recently made her debut, making her debut tonight here at Ace Patch 3.0. Of course, long form member of the long shot. Years, years of the long shot. Years and years. Oh, my fault. Bojack is slipping I'm, tonight. I'm multitasking, y'all. Y'all got me doing too much, baby. Y'all got me doing too much, baby. Y'all got me doing too much. <laughs> we would once again like to thank Title Match for letting us go live here and also shout out Ladies Night Out. You can catch everything on the Title Match Network. Thousands of pay per view live on Title Match Network as we get underway here with this women's contest. Absolutely. Nice leg sweep there, as you mentioned, Bojo. Both coming from the Palmetto Wrestling Academy. And whenever you train with somebody, I know you can speak on this, whenever you train with somebody that you then have to later on wrestle in your career, you know them like the back of your hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've seen you've seen them come up. You've seen uh, what they excel at, and you've seen what they struggle with. So you know uh, what to go after, and you know what to stay away from. Erica, the headlock, first the shoot off. Bypass again with that shoulder tackle, dropping Selena once again to the center of the ring. 
Erica with a very nice shoulder tackle there. Follows it up with a oh punch, but no. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh my God. It was absolutely vicious. Looking to just ground and pound. Oh, my goodness. The fuck? <laughs> Don't, baby. Almost like an anime character come to life is Erica. Don't. Uh, do, you, do you watch anime? I, I do not, Bojack. I do not watch anime, but I have a feeling somewhere, somehow, Tenshi X is going crazy right now. Tenshi X is going crazy. Big anime guy, Tenshi X. Big anime girl, Erica. Oh, oh my God! Baits her in, catches her on the side of the dome with that roundhouse. That was a huge kick to the head there. Chopping her again with that shoulder tackle. Almost the master of the shoulder tackle showing here. Oh, oh my God! God. That strike connects. Oh my God! That was one hellacious strike there. Detroit smash from Erica Damia. I haven't seen action like that since the Hulk and the Avengers. Throwing down crazy force with the strike. <laughs> but Selena showing she's still in this contest. Selena right coming back now with a big four on there. Now here's the, here's the thing about Selena. She 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 looks very friendly. Uh very oh my god. <laughs> strike heavy offense from both individuals here in the early goings of this match. Oh, the technical prowess there was great. Big boot off the side of the jaw. Headbutt to the stummy. Coming off the ropes. Oh my Whoa! god! Oh, Carlos Beautiful. Sunset flip one. Oh my god. No, just the count of one. One. No. One. Two. Whoa. One. Two. Whoa. Able Big red. Getting all of his paycheck. Today. Superhero pose. I caught it. Superhero pose. Launches her back into the corner. Selena now charging in, grabbing the leg. Whoa. Oh, tying her up in the ropes here. What should be looking for here? Oh. A four onto the back. Erica was not able to see that shot coming, was not able to brace herself either. That's what I was saying about Selena Rose. She comes out, she's very friendly, smiling, but she has a vicious side to her. Uh, she, she has to. She's willing to get down and dirty, willing to get violent. It's pretty, uh, pretty scary. Pretty scary. Oh, oh my God! Back elbow now, followed up by a snapmare to Erica Demia. No, 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 no! Got that chin lock applied. Looking to apply pressure. Looking to take out the wind from Erica here. But Erica, she has the heart of a hero. It's gonna. She's willing to dig down deep and keep on fighting. She's ready to go beyond. Plus ultra. Oh my goodness! Shot oh my to the God! Back there. Looking for another forearm there. Selena's on point with these forearms, dog. Absolutely. <laughs> these forearms are vicious. Chris Hero hits your heart out. Oh, my God! <laughs> and, oh, my God! Switchblade <laughs> kick from Selena Rose. Yo, that was insane. What the fuck? Boy, only a count of one, though. Holy shit. <laughs> able to pop those shoulders up, keeping this match alive. I don't even know if she can do that. <laughs> Throwing strikes. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Kick. These strikes are absolutely a killer. From Selena Rose. Kicks to the thighs. Oh, oh my god! Goodness gracious. Almost like a push kick there. One, two. Sending Erica into the ropes. Not enough to get the three count though. Just a count of two. Erica showing here the strength that they have to keep on fighting, to keep on pushing, to keep on going beyond. Solar on the outside, uh, honorary member of the long shot, uh, seconding Erica here. Rolling her on in this contest. Back elbow there. So you could look for that. Ooh. Again, tying her up in the ropes. Oh, Erica with the momentum. Oh my God, bouncing Selena's head off that top rope. Coming up and over, back into the ring. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Lisa in the corner. Oh. oh. <laughs> so many kicks. Swinging back with that leg lariat. Oh, Meteora. Jinx. <laughs> vicious, vicious assault from Selena. Could this be it? Two. No. Erica again. still able to power through. The heart, the resilience from Air Academia here, going off in this one. Every single hard strike that Selena Rose brings, Erica is able to continue to fight through the pain. No, no. And again, Dot, like you mentioned, these two train together. Selena knows that Erica's still finding her footing, if you will. I, 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 Selena, as you have seen, is a very accomplished striker. Erica's still sort of finding her way. But something she has more than anything is heart oh. and courage. But uh, I'm not sure how, how much further heart and courage is going to get her in this contest. Wait a minute. Maybe smoke too soon. 
Oh! Oh! Without even looking? Yes! Oh! oh. Return to that big boot. Yeah. Yeah. The corner oh. uppercut in the corner. Snap yeah. mare followed oh. suit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! The fucking bop off the top of the head! <laughs> no way. Oh! Yeah. One for your, oh, excuse me, the weave driver. The weave driver? The weave driver. The weave driver, <laughs> insane. The weave driver, very impressive. Not able to get the win, though. Erica, looking for that punch. Whoa, caught it, though. Selena had it scouted. Good to around. Again oh. to the stummy. Drops oh. on the knee. Selena Rose now coming off the ropes. Oh! oh. A little sliding D variation. One. Two, no. Selena Rose has been very vicious with these, with these forearms on all the strikes. Absolutely. Looking for that swing and neck break. Oh, big forearm there. Erica's giving some forearms of her own. Oh, a TNA kick. Oh, uh, kicks her up. These oh my kicks God. are crazy! What a combination! Oh my God! Oh, oh no counter! counter. Able to pull it through. Oh boy. boy! One, two, no! Kick out at two. Get her, get her, get her! Both yeah. back to the feet. Oh, oh my God! One for your face! One, two, no! Oh my God! And one for the kick out. What do these women have to do to put the other away? Uh oh. Oh my god. Can that submission in? Possibly. No, yeah, no. What's she looking for here, bro? Oh, the snap there. Rolls it through. She yeah. she was in danger. Oh, look, look at that Yakuza again. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh! One for your face one more time! Three! He did it! I was I got it! I got oh, it, my baby! Goodness. I got it! Titlematchnetwork.com And running in what may be perhaps the most important contest of the day. Gonna be terming the number one contender to Jessica Havoc's WSU World title. But, you know, right now we've been getting a lot of questions. Has Lufisto forfeited her contendership? Has Athena been forced to forfeit her contendership? And honestly, we don't, I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Kavea earned this shot, you know, for beating Jessica Havoc in singles competition. Three months ago, I believe. In a that CCW. was at Proving Grounds. That was at CCW Proving Grounds. And that was right after Jessica Havoc had gone to war with Sammy Callahan. That goes to show you what kind of... And the well, Florida. You can't, you can't discount Lexus either because Lexus herself is a former winner of the Uncensored Rumble, which at one time crowned her a number one contender spot about two years ago. Yeah, people shouldn't be bitching about forcing uh, Annie Social and Kimberly to uh, to jump through hoops in order to earn their shot at the title. Lexus, says, uh, she hasn't had an easy run of it, especially because you know she was forced to miss the Ultraviolet Affair card back in February due to weather issues. I like it when there's dark clouds over Denver, Colorado. He gets pretty fired up. I'm kind of scared. I'll tell you what, man, you want to talk about dark clouds? Some people may say, like I said earlier, whoever has that number one contendership position may be cursed. 
So it hasn't worked out very well for Lufisto or Athena, who both suffered serious injuries when they were, when they're, they, you know, the match was finally set for them to go up against Jessica Hammond. Yeah, but both athletes are competing for this number one competition. You see the focus in their eyes. Yeah, you gotta be focused. You can't be superstitious. Yeah, neither of them wants to make a mistake, especially in the early going. Oh! Hard drop kick to the chest by Lexus. As Nevaeh retreats into the corner. And Lexus is a bit of a spitfire. What she lacks inside, she certainly makes up for in intensity. She's been competing in New England. As the face driver, that's gotta be painful. Oh! Now hooking the leg, bring her away from the ropes. Yeah, that was the one mistake she made. She didn't drag her far enough away from the ropes. I don't know if she would have had her this early on. In some ways, those attempted pitfall attempts yeah. in the early part of a match, oh. But there's something that she may have sensed that we did not from our vantage point, oh, where exactly. she thought that she had an opportunity to put Nevaeh away. I mean, nevertheless, with every opportunity to pin your opponent, you're forcing them to expend more energy as Lexus is taken down on the apron. I think we need somebody out there to check on her. The official instead count her out. Right now, we're seeing the inside of Nevaeh. We've seen her a lot of times show a fun side to her out, out with her, bro uh, her brother-in-law and her husband, David Jake. But right now, she knows she's definitely going to have an opportunity should she win this for her first chance at championship gold. What does she call that kick that she finished off Havoc with? It was like a running punch. It was effective is what she called it. And right now, it's not looking too effective as Lexis is backing her into that corner. She's getting a little ultra violent herself here. Okay, going to the eyes. That's really, I think you have to be ultra violent when you go up against Jessica Havoc. I'm off the head. What? What she said? Like I said, Nevaeh is very focused right now, very determined to come out on top in this match. Going straight for that lateral press. Nevaeh oh bringing Lexus back to her vertical base so she can bury that forearm in the side of her head. Now with that cravat snap, airing her down oh. and going after the neck. Yeah, snap in the neck. Attack in the neck area is Novea. Stringing together a series of effective offense. They're only getting a two count. As Lex is keeping her hope for a number one contender spot alive here at the Uncensored Rumble. Oh, just charging with that knee. Yeah, another cover here. But once again, only getting a two count. Nevaeh, yeah, we've seen her thus far use very strike-based off based offense. Now she's going straight for a, a submission hold. Yeah, she didn't waste any time getting into that hold either. No, not at all. She's trying to cut off the flow of blood to the brain of Alexis. It's going to be difficult for the official to call, too, to make sure that she's not cheating with both of the competitors' hair getting an advantage point. Advantages of the long hair in the ring. There's plenty of disadvantages. That's, that's true. Them. That's true. That can that can block your nose and block your mouth, make it very difficult to breathe, Ooh. especially the condensation that builds up if you've been sweating. Lexus taking out Nevaeh right now into a cover, but once again, Nevaeh kicking out, keeping her hopes alive for a WSU title shot. Look at Nevaeh, vicious kick to the midsection. Yeah, you see the kick, so she's trying to work out of her uh, body right there, Nevaeh, in her neck and shoulder area. After seeing Nevaeh at work here tonight, you almost wonder if she really is one behind OI4K's viciousness. She has been vicious in this ring against Lexus. I think it might be getting under her skin, though, that this crowd is not 100% behind her. Lexus does have her fair share of fans. I'm sure would love nothing more than to see her finally get an opportunity to go a one-on-one -on -one with Jessica Havoc. Oh, totally. Let's it's different audiences that WSU compared to that really angry audience that comes to CCW. I and mean, let's not forget, Lexus was not pinned in the three-way match where Jessica Havoc competed at full steam ahead. Oh! oh! Right to the spine! That's definitely gonna slow Lexus down. Oh, another stiff shot to the back. Viciously attacking the vertebrae of Lexus. Oh! oh I think she caught her right in the throat and then dumping her on her head. These two are going in. Referee checking to see if Lexus can even continue. Most times going to a match in the Bay does not have the size advantage. And she is taking advantage of that in this one. That smirk on her face. She's pretty proud of her handiwork so far. Yeah, as fun loving as OI4K is, they also have that unique side where they enjoy the violence. 
to enjoy inflicting punishment on people. And we're seeing that out of Nebea. She's found someone smaller to pick on, and I like the fact that she's using that to try and take advantage of this and let out her aggression. Fans once again getting behind Lexus. Lexus trying to feed off that energy, creating an opening for herself. Lexus now down. looking to send Nevaeh across the ring, but Nevaeh with a reversal and grabbing a handful of hair and tugging her opponent, skull first down to the canvas. Only getting a two count. Go for it again, but once again, only a two count. Yeah, certainly not the most ethical of maneuvers, but effective nevertheless. Well, that's she gotta be frustrating to Maya, the fact that she wasn't able to put down Alexis after two pinfall attempts. You still gotta think she's gonna be setting her up in a position to try and nail that punt kick. Uh, I think it also goes back to Nevaeh just being frustrated in general, beating Jessica Havoc and still not having an opportunity for the world title. Whether whether we agree with that this decision from management or not, that's really what's got to be going through her head. Well, well you want to fight Jessica Havoc, win this match. Question your boss. There's a, there's a lot of people that should be in contention to wrestle Jessica Havoc. You're right. Whether or not You're they'll right. get their shot remains to be oh, seen. Wild up right now. And right now, Lexus looking good about getting her shot. Keeping her mind focused, taking down Novea. And I'm sure with whatever sassy Stephanie had the nerve to say after her match, I'm sure that Jessica Havoc is sitting somewhere stewing in her own juices, absolutely livid. You say stewing in your own juices on the show. Why are you the voice of reason tonight? Oh, why would... oh man. Can you Love control these women at all? Can I control right you guys? Oh! I don't think you control that? anything that's going on right now. Because Lex is dropping down Nevaeh into a cover here. No oh, room. so oh, close. With a leaping inverted lung blower. I was almost like Lex is lost for energy after the beating she's been taking at the hands of Nevaeh. She got her second win and she's got to use it to her advantage. Well, I mean, she she's... might not have a third. I, I, I mean, she's going to be pretty sore. She's been on the receiving end of a beatdown for. You know, oh, it's gonna be close to 10 minute mark at this point. Oh, the backpack, backpack stunner. stunner! Jolting the whole body! Once again, Lexus, that heart, that determination. She has her eyes on the prize, and she kicks up a four count of three. That's one of the most deadly maneuvers in the Vans arsenal. I'm telling you, man, she's gotta be looking for that kick. Lexus came charging in, got sidestepped. Yeah, but look at Nevaeh and Vish. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and again! That time she caught her in the face. This time the leg is hooked! Two! But only a two count. Both women are not going to go down easy. Both women know what's on the line. Lex is stalking her opponent. She's pulling herself back up in the corner. The onslaught continues. One of the most physical contests we've seen all day. Lots of strikes coming out of both competitors. Running a step oh. behind, though. And Lexus, her own momentum used against her to bring her down face first into the second turnbuckle. Lexus almost is trying to There's get it. her bearings. She's got her sized up for the kick right here. She's going to be going for the oh, kick. God. Oh, oh she was able to sidestep it. Rolls her up. Cover. One, two, and three. Both these ladies, very talented. Miss Kate, of course, the veteran. This one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be really good. So this is a last man standing match? No. Oh, it's not. That was a, that was a, a, a small error. Yeah. That match is coming later. I don't know how you could boo Layla Gray. I just don't. I don't understand it. Um, People are dumb. Good luck. Collar elbow type. Solid. <laughs> Center of the ring. Oh! oh. Lays it in. Yeah. Look, honestly, sticks. Yeah, this is a fight. I like it. Um, honestly, this is what I care about most. Is uh, you got a good collar and elbow time. You can just tell uh, how seasoned a wrestler is just off that. Absolutely. Nice collar and elbow tie. Both man. these ladies. They want it. Know their way. Oh! And Layla Gray having some great experiences. I saw. I called a match with her last month. 
in Jacksonville. Her and Thunder Rosa had a phenomenal match at River City Wrestling Con. Good stuff. She's learning on the fly, and like I said, less than a year in the business already. Yeah. Very uh, Ricky Morton-esque headlock there by Miss Kate. Nice takeover. Works up here. Layla Gray in the headlock. Um, interesting reversal. Top wrist lock here. Miss Kate. Uh -oh. Look at the flexibility wow. of Miss Kate yeah. there. I would say Miss Kate has the size and strength advantage. Um, I can only describe Layla Gray, but again, this is the first time of me seeing her as a very foxy lady. She's, she's a foxy lady, but she's also feisty inside that ring. Whoa, nice transition. Beautiful. Nice Swims chain through right into oh. the snapmare, into a crucifix. Oh, that was See the nice. crucifix and look at that great transition to the headlock. Over. Double leg takeover. Flips over with the jackknife. No. Headlock there. Headlock takeover. And Miss Kate back on top. What a great start to this match. I did not expect this at all. Some solid wrestling. Guys, fundamentals is so important. For any young wrestler watching or any fan that studies the game, stuff like this is what I love the most because it really shows how technically sound you are and how really good of a wrestler you are. Simple but effective. Miss Kate trying to find a way out here. Headstand. Oh, bridging. Headstand. Showing off. Just, Fancy just, footwork by Miss Kate. Just try, look at this. Clapping with her feet. Good stuff. And you can, you can see a little bit of the difference. Miss Kate is more confident on her feet. She moves a little bit more solidly than Layla Gray does. That's just the experience, though. Yeah. That'll come with time with Layla Gray. Nice drop leapfrog. down. Leapfrog drop down there. Leapfrog again. Oh! oh! And a simple kick. And Layla Gray got a roll to the outside. I think she was going for a drop kick, but the timing was off. Still got enough. It doesn't to matter. Out. Effective. Layla checking, making sure she still looks good. I assure you, she does. I don't know about the referee uh, trying to get Miss Kate out of there. Wow, yeah, that's why you don't roll out on that side of the ring. Thanks, uh, thanks Jeremy. Stairs are important, Robert. Whoa, Whoa. using the referee. Hey. Whoa. I, I don't understand. Listen, I don't understand oh. why he's complaining. Um. It's probably the first time he's been touched in months. Top turnbuckle. Interesting and didn't call the match there, but nonetheless, <laughs> Miss, uh, Layla Gray getting away with murder as she is forming the hell out of Miss Kate. There you see the flexibility of Layla Gray. I have to five. That was four. It was about five. Get out of the corner. Well, I will say about um, Layla, Gray, Layla Gray is that she does seem very confident. Very the rope, basement oh, drop kick. nice, beautiful drop kick. Basement drop kick there. Sent on. Oh, oh, got it all. Nice. Um, nice. But she does Come seem up. comfortable in her own skin. She seems confident and she's not rushing like most uh, young wrestlers would. Well, and she's, she's been able to uh, sit under the learning tree, if you will to quote the late, great Dusty Rhodes, uh, of some great, great talent these last few months as her time on the road extends, as she goes more places, spends more time with, with veterans of the ring. And you can see how quickly she's been picking it up. She's a star in the making, for sure. Miss Kate on the wrong side of this right now. And look, for being under a year in, she's, she's very, very good and scary good for being where she's at. Controlling this match is what she's impressing me with. Gets a veteran like Miss Kate, you know. Again, look, look how confident she's walking. Oh, Miss Kate with a straight kick, low kick. Oh, nice. Forearm to the back. Again, those studs hurt way more than the slaps. Um, but yeah, you can see. She's not walking on eggshells at all. She's very Best aggressive. Style. She's always been very aggressive in that ring. Even in her first match, she's been able to find, wow, all right. So, you know, um, confidence right away. 
I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Innovative offense, nonetheless. Layla in control now. Forearm shot to the spine. Chin lock here. Um, to my vantage point, she's under the chin. Missa Kate trying to fire up. Trying to get the fans of Tampa behind her. Here at the GCW third year anniversary. Right here on Title Match Network. Thank you so much for tuning in. Layla Gray trying to gain control here. Whips her off, reversal. Up and over, sunset flip. We saw this work, almost work, in the last match. Oh, Meteora! Meteora, she might be on. Done, Jesus, can't even talk. I get it. So much talent in that ring. Sometimes you lose your words, but that's all right. You just keep on keeping on. Layla. Uh -oh. X-Factor! Oh my god, Miss the Kate face first! Big X-Factor on the money, that was beautiful! Oh, and barely gets his shoulder up. So close. So close. Again, I'm very surprised that Layla Gray has been on top this long. Um, against someone like Miss the Kate. She's got to be careful though, you see her getting frustrated. Frustration is not a good place to be when you're in a fight. You got to stay focused. My only critique so far is that she hasn't really pulled the trigger. She needs to start getting. Oh! How about that? She pulled the trigger offense. on that snap suplex. Yeah, more effective offense. And that's what I'm talking about. Snap suplex could be a little bit harder on the cover there, but Layla Gray still on top nonetheless. Really good match here. Oh, oh wow. wrenching the neck. Your, your body is not supposed to bend like that. This is that. an old French catch move. I love it. Someone like Luthez would apply on his victim. Oh, Mr. Oh, Kate now. Big Pushes her off. Blows. Pushes her back. Double clothesline, that was a little low. Oh, Another right on the one. other side. Meeting the minds here, double duck. Double oh, clothesline. Both ladies down, center of the ring. They were thinking the exact thing the other was. And double duck, I've never seen that in my life. It worked. A lot of things I've never seen here at GCW. That's what you come to GCW for. The talent, the showcase, the violence, the aggression. And some first time stuff. Had a four here. Missa Kate trying to get the fans behind her. Layla Gray on Dream Street too. Oh, oh, oh overhand chop. Oh, Layla, Layla Gray right giving it right shot. back. Yes. Laying it in. I love violence so much. Oh my God! There's a difference, Layla Gray. And Miss Gate is showing you that right now. European uppercut. Solid uppercut. Gets Layla back in the corner. Just uh, building up steam. Oh, big splash. Looks her off. Layla Gray hits a turnbuckle. Another splash. Whips Layla Gray off. Hits the rope, the, the back elbow. Whoa! Whoa. 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 One, two. Layla Gray kicks out. Did someone say Rick Steiner? <laughs> That's so great. What a match. Huge, huge. She popped the hips on that one. Dropped her right on her back. She did, with that extra momentum off the ropes. Now in the corner. Count corner now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Making sure this crowd knows how to count. Yeah, almost like hammer fists rather than punches. Um, German, German suplex! She landed on her left shoulder. Hey, 
Kayla Gray telling the fans how good she is. Oh, oh nice big knee. knee. Right under the up. chin. Bulldog. Oh, right on the face. Mr. K might be out. One, two, whoa. Got the shoulder up. Wasn't really a kick out. Just made sure she got their shoulder up just before the three. Just checking with the referee, making sure that wasn't a three count. Double underhook. Oh, go for the butterfly suplex. Pushes her off. Ref got to get out of the way. Oh, clocks with the elbow. She's rocked. Goes for the lariat. German. Oh, oh, throws just her throws down. her down. Face. Cover. Kicked out by Layla Gray. I wanted to see that bridging butterfly suplex. New Robinson style. They might see it. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Hesitated, That's but still right. got the kick. Caught your shot right on the chin. One, two. Wow! That's it. Yeah. That's a match. A little bit of confusion here after the match. Whether that was a kick out, but Miss Kate. TitleMatchNetwork.com Women's Champion, take it to Shane Fair. I'd like to welcome you all to this singles match for the BCW Women's Championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger. In the corner to my left, she is a former BCW Queen of the North. She is also one half of the Neon Blondes from the 4 -1 According to who? Himself. I guess Michael Douglas wasn't available, so Mark Schwann will have to do. Here we go. High intensity here in this crowd as we are bringing you the first championship opportunity of the evening here at BCW Summer on Smash. Ref Shady Torres in charge and a big time show of respect. And first title defense for Vicky here at BCW. Vicky still has a headlock on, but Danny Moe counters out from the wrist lock to a headlock takeover of her own. Now, every former Queen of the North has gone on to become champion. That's right. Could Vicky end that today? Well, Vicky comes in not just defending the title for the first time, but with an incredible amount of momentum. Keep in mind that in the same night, despite losing to Anthony Gangone, she had one of the best intergender matches of the year, then went on to the main event to make it a triple threat match and ended up becoming the women's champion. She's coming in with a lot of steam behind her, putty. Also, let's go to the fact that those two women in the main event were not prepared for a triple threat. No one was prepared for no, Vicky getting to that I match. Under, I understand that. I understand that. And they gave her somewhat of an advantage. And I understand that. And then again, Mark Schwann was, in fact, the reason she won. Let, let's just say what it is. Yeah. And Danny Moe showing her wrestling acumen here. But Vicky puts the brakes. Oh, great roll through. Oh, backslide. Vicky quickly goes down. Could it be over? Oh, almost this close. Watch this. Beautiful Big time maneuver. takeover. Up and over. Oh, the champion was quick to pull the trigger on that, but Danny Moe had it scouted. 
Watch this. Roll up, roll up. Try to go for that schoolgirl cover. Almost had a new chant there. Yeah, Danny Moe is not wasting an inch here. Let go. Cover again. And a two. What you gotta do, you gotta stay on the champ. Can't let her get back to her feet. You know, you're constantly having conversation, interviewing Vicky for Shot of Wrestling. What's the one quote that has stuck with you the most about Vicious Vicky? Please leave Mark alone. Ah. As Mark Schwann now, to your point, has a big smile on his face as Vicky regains some control of this matchup. Again, it's just an odd sight. Like, she doesn't need Mark Schwann. She would have been champion wherever she goes. One! Take the title here. Maybe she felt as if Mark Schwann would expedite the inevitable. How about that? Or she just needs somebody to carry her bags around for her. Beautiful suplex. You hear what's going on with Vicky, though? Yeah. She's now in the studio doing commercials. That's right. Doing commercials and recently adopted a fur baby. Incredible agility there. Almost took Shady out. I'll be okay with that. Yeah, she has got Vicky's head on a whirl. One, two. It's a different style we're seeing from uh, Danny Moe tonight. Yeah, Danny Moe she's... definitely relying on her agility a lot more. Watch out, watch out, cover. She's throwing, uh, throwing Vicky off her game plan here. Oof, right to the midsection. Hold on. That's a cover. One. Two. Got it, two. Crowd's pretty, pretty split here. Yeah, pretty much. Both women are fan favorites. And I want to point out that it's very evident all the hate is on Mark Schwann. The crowd's firmly behind Vicious Vicky oh, yeah. just as much as Danny Moe. Vicky's fantastic. Yeah. Everyone just hates Mark Schwann. With you at the forefront. Oh, absolutely. I'm president of that club. Who calls themselves their favorite, your favorite actor? Yeah. You don't know nothing about me. What are you calling, Farrell? Interesting choice. Kick to the midsection. Has a champ reeled over here. Kick to the face. Put the uprights. Yeah, Danny Moe's been relying on those versatile feet. Another pin attempt. And a two. She's a collegiate pole vaulter. Say again? Danny Moe, collegiate pole vaulter. Maybe. No, I learned that today. Not a maybe, it's a fact. I was trying to teach you something. Oh, Dragon Sleeper! But... Blocks that suplex. Ah, oh, reverse it. Now, at this moment, it's anybody's ball game, but Vicious Vicky has got to come out of pocket with something big or a series of offense. Forearms again, chops the Queen of the North down. Yeah. Hold off again. This time oh, gets got, him. got him. That full connection goes to the cover. Two. Oh, two big time two. two count. You got desperation in her face. And Vicky realizing it's going to take a lot more to put Danny Moe down. But perhaps she doesn't know what that's going to be. Totally not. What else? What? Nothing to tank. There's a the crowd going again. 50 50. Kick to the gut. Watch out. Versus it. Almost Mo better takedown. And again to the Dragon Sleeper. Oh. Pull up the jersey turn. That back. might do it. W Summer on Smash, a tribute to Mama Pan. I'm Samir. I'm joined by our still women's champion, <laughs> Vicious Vicky, and Hollywood Inc. himself, Mark Schwann. I mean, congratulations, guys, your first defense. And Vicky, you are the first person ever to defeat the streak of the Queen of the North since every Queen of the North winner has won their title match. How are you feeling? The streak's over. I mean, hello. Yes, the streak is over. I am not surprised in any sense of the word. I knew what I was set out to do today was defend this title and kill that streak once and for all. It's gone, baby. No more Queen of the North. 
superstition or whatever you want to call it hanging no. over us. It is over. And now on to the next Queen of the North, on to the next opponent, on to whoever wants to face Vicious Vicky here for the BCW Women's Champion because, hey, we are setting the bar here in this, in this division to new heights. It starts with the first star of Hollywood Inc., baby. <laughs> That's me, baby. Danny Mo. you were only in my way, and now I am going to keep setting these strides at being your BCW Women's Champion. TitleMatchNetwork.com Ella Envy with her daily affirmations here. Nikki Knuckles has heard enough. Does not want to hear the singing of Ella Envy. Trying to shut that mouth right now. That right hand. Now backing her into the corner. And that's not enough. Out to the floor. Oh. Oh. I wouldn't test her, Caitlin. Run away. Mickey got a strategy here. Waiting. Looking like she's hiding. It's not a game of hide and seek you want to lose here. Ella Envy, oh! Catching a right to the side of the head. Mickey Knuckles. Like I said before, has the experience advantage. Former OVW Women's Champion, IWA Mid-South Women's Champion, former IWA Mid-South Tag Team Champion. She's done just about everything you can imagine. And like the crowd says, she's hardcore. Ella Envy. Still relatively new to the game, a student of the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy. Making a name for herself here lately, though. Oh, Mickey got something devious in my... Oh! As if a suplex isn't damaging enough to your lower spine. Imagine taking that to the floor. This crowd's got some bloodlust. Our flawless wrestling crowd. Not a big fan of Ella Envy. Oh, and Caitlin Marie getting in the, oh. You knew she was gonna interfere. Mickey Knuckles now getting rolled back into the ring. Ella Envy not too far behind. Ella trying to capitalize on this bit of a distraction, but she's got to stay on her. Got to keep this flurry of offense going. Can't take time to kind of pick on the crowd here. Just that moment of hesitation, Mickey Knuckles was able to throw a stiff shot, knock Ella off her game. But now Mickey Knuckles back into the corner. Ella Envy choking the life out of Mickey Knuckles. And again, this crowd not seeming very hopeful for Ella Envy. They've definitely got their favorite here. Oh, and only a two count. You heard it, Ella Envy is so sick of being so good all the time, but Caitlin Marie making her presence felt. Ella distracting the referee. Wrenching back, driving all that weight into the shoulder blades, thus driving that rope into the throat of Mickey Knuckles. Oh, but Mickey firing back. Ella, though, cutting her off. Ella maintaining control, shooting her off into the corner. This is what Ella Envy has to do here. 
She's got to keep that momentum going. Got to keep up this offense. If she wants to beat Mickey Knuckles. Going for the cover. But not enough quite yet. Ella taking a moment to mock Mickey before rolling her to the floor. And Caitlin Marie on the outside. Again, paying off dividends for Ella. Oh, at least you just hit her with the microphone. And now Rye right back into the ring like nothing ever happened. And Ella trying to pick the bones, but not going to be able to quite yet. Mickey looking for some reprise, trying to roll away from Ella, but Ella right on top of her. Locking in this hold. Trying to slow down the pace of this match. Trying to really make Mickey Knuckles feel this. Really cinching in, trying to put her way in on there. Not sure how much leverage she has though as Mickey back up to her feet. Mickey gonna look to grab a hold here. You see her? Oh, that's what we were looking for. Beautiful bridging suplex. Mickey Knuckles finding that opportunity, making an opportunity. Just grabbing hold and throwing Ella Envy over her shoulders. Ella trying to look for a little bit of a break here. Try to catch herself a breather. Oh, they've got the ax. Ella trying to get away. Oh, that's where she messed up. Shouldn't have paused. Oh, and Ella Envy is caught by Mickey Knuckles. Mickey grabbing a hold of that leg. You know she's got something evil planned. And that sent on to the concrete floor below. Mickey Knuckles with that reckless abandon that we know her for. And here she is, hand on hair with Ella Envy, just dragging the lifeless body. Oh, in a right hand. Oh! But Ella's fired up. Oh! Fired up for a moment but caught a shotgun blast of a right hand. Now the two trading forearms, trying to get the better of each other. Both these talent are fired up here. Oh, but not so much anymore. Ella Envy driven right into that ring post. Caitlin trying to offer some comfort here. Oh, that chop. Just echoing all through this building. Mickey Knuckles smells the blood in the water, circling her prey. Getting back in the ring, and you see the look in her eyes. Oh, but the prey is fighting back. Ella Envy scratching at the forehead. Oh, those fingernails just digging into the forehead. Oh, Mickey Knuckles bleeding. And Ella Envy just mocking her. Just mocking Mickey. Just locking in that sleeper hold here. And with that chin lock, keep in mind... That blood is going to be pumping extra hard to the head. And you can see that gash right there. Mickey Knuckles checking to see the damage. But Mickey's been through a lot of punishment in her life. She's no stranger to this. Don't expect Mickey to be down and out. Shut up. Let's go, Mickey. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Ella. Oh, lining up. That kick to the backside seemed to wake up Mickey Knuckles. Oh, just challenging her. Just absorbing these shots one after another. Mickey Knuckles firing up. Come on, Ella! Come on! And this is what Ella Envy didn't want. Mickey Knuckles. Oh. My turn, bitch! Oh! Mickey's angry now. Ella in a place she doesn't want to be. She's in that corner. Mickey about to charge in looking for that cannonball. Taking a moment to talk some smack here. Here she goes. Oh, with the drop kick. And just mocking Caitlin on the outside. Ella, lifeless body, just laying there prone. Unique pinfall. But Ella kicking out at two. And again, rolling to the ring. Rolling out of the ring, I should say. Trying to catch a breather. Trying to seek some solace here with Caitlin Marie. Taking a timeout. There's no timeouts here in Flawless Wrestling, but she does have into the count of 10 to try to regain her breath and get back in the ring. Ella looking like she's been hit by a freight train. A freight train named Mickey Knuckles. Mickey facing off here with Caitlin Marie. Buying some extra time for Ella Envy on the outside. Oh! And Caitlin paying off again. Ella dragging Mickey to the outside. Got her lined up for the ring post. Shoulder first. And just like that, the confidence of Ella Envy is right back. That was pretty cool. A leg drop to the floor. And now Ella Envy in firm control. She's got Mickey Knuckles. Ooh, right into the steps. And now clubbing blows to the back. Oh, the ingenuity there. Mickey Knuckles aware of her surroundings, having the wherewithal, the ring presence, the ring IQ to just sling those steps back right into Ella Envy, knocking her off balance, now back in the ring. And again, that experience advantage, paying off for Mickey Knuckles. Oh! And that backfired there for Ella. Mickey going for that gut wrench. And there we go! And just like that, Mickey Knuckles is victorious. that VWR championship. Ion, who has spent a good chunk of her reign defending that belt from Rachel Rose, 
now faces an international competitor. She faced off against Kylan King at Rise of the Vixens 3. She is a fighting champion, and this is going to be a test. That is right, high on strong, strong title defenses every time. Well, Hyon is world traveled. She's been to the UK. That's where she and Amira first met up. Has traveled on excursion to Japan. There's not a whole lot of places that our champion has not been. And here tonight, she is defending that championship. Show of respect there. As I said, these two wrestled in the UK when Hyon was on her UK tour. Now, over here in the States, in Texas, Amira on her Texas tour. Yeah, Amira making a couple stops here in Texas. She would love to uh, take the VWR Championship back to the UK, that's for sure. Much better souvenir than a uh, shot glass at uh, Bush Intercontinental Airport. <laughs> As we see, Amira. Amira and Hyon here jockeying for position over who can control. Oh. A little bit of flourish from Amira there. Hyon, looks like she was going for the roll up. Amira pops up off the ropes. Oh! Planted there. High on a master of so many styles. They call her the Renaissance Women for, for a reason. Oh! Oh! Vicious high kick from Amira. Now putting the boots in the corner. Sorry, baby. Off the ropes. In the middle. Amira definitely impressing here so far. That is right. These two met last weekend. Oh! oh. For Bronco another one Buster. of Hyon's. For another one of Hyon's titles that she holds. And I'm sure they have adjusted their game plan since then. Into the cover one, two. Just a two count. Yeah, Emily, you're definitely right. Okay. Both of these women okay. are so meticulous in their planning that I couldn't see either of them not going back and watching their previous encounters over and over again, looking for a weakness, looking for something to change the particular outcome. Oh. Oh. Very nice reversal by Hyon. Yeah, Hyon, a master of situational awareness, to put it lightly. Oh, Ooh. sweet God. They heard that one downtown. These two are friends, right? They seemed like they were friends. They had that show of respect, show of sportsmanship. I tell you what, my, any of my friends hits me like that, I'm hitting them with my car. You can't I guess escalate a, from that. It I guess it's a good thing for Hyon that Amir doesn't have her car over here. I don't know. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Amira thought she had gotten out of a situation and walked right into that one. Oh, driving that knee right to the spine. And now, applying that shid lock. High on with so much aggression, but you've got to remember, this is for one of her championships. So, you know she's going to fight with everything she has to keep that championship. Right, high on the face of this company, carrying the torch for VWR. That title means everything to her. She's not going to let it go easily. As we said at the start of this contest, this match means a lot to both women. Oh! Ooh. Amira off the ropes there. Like a rolling senton. And there. Over the cover. 
just using all of the body weight to try to keep high on down. Didn't, hit, didn't hook the leg. Might have been a difference maker there. But Hyatt is so quick to recover. We talked about Hyatt being, as she drops the leg, kick out it too. We talked about Hyatt being the reality of wrestling Diamonds Division champion. She is also a trainer at Reality of Wrestling. So you want to talk about cardio and conditioning. There's not anybody in a tier above Hyatt whenever it comes to readiness for the ring. Absolutely, and world traveled, as we mentioned, been to the UK, she's been to Japan. I've been to Florida once. I have not been to Florida. You're not missing much. Oh. Roll through. High on maintaining control. Knee lifts. Almost Muay Thai style. Pure aggression on the part of Hyon. Hooks the leg. One, two. Nope, not enough to put Amira away just yet. Oh. Up close and personal. Both women just exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. And now high on again. Just contorting a mirror here. Referee checking on Amira. The crowd. Trying to will Amira back to her feet. They're loving what they're seeing. They know exactly what they see here, which is two world-class level talents competing for one of the top prizes in independent women's wrestling. Oh. Amira drops down. Trying to get herself worked back into this thing. Oh, high on. Out of the corner. Whip for it. Nobody home. Amira had it well scouted, and now. Oh, powerful clothesline. And another. And there's the kick off the ropes. Sliding attack to the back of the deck. Now the running knee lift in the corner. Hayat is reeling. And Amira going for the cover. And Hayat able to get that shoulder up. These two do know each other so well. And you can tell. Face crusher. Hayat. Rolling to the outside, looking to catch her breath. These two battling on the rig apron there, precariously perched. High on, shoulder tackle through that middle rope. Sunset flip, roll up, one, two. Gets a two count out of it. Oh, and high on tossing high on her into that. Her in the corner. She's calling for it. Oh, CTD. That could be it. Planted, center of the ring. High on hooks the leg. One, two. And Amira gets the shoulder up. That is the fighting spirit that you love to see in title matches like this. Everything on the line. 
And now we have a chant for Ireland. We're going to get a good old ole, ole, ole in here. <laughs> oh, oh. high on. Call it for it. Could be looking for beauty. Oh. Kamira had it well scouted. Oh. Almost had it. Two count there. Stiff kick to the side of the head. Amira might have this in the bag. Oh. oh snap, DDT. Amira going Amira for the hooks cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Oh. That was as close to a new champion as we will ever see without that hand coming down. Ion, I'm sure that was probably just muscle memory at that point. Just pure instinct. As Amira looks like she could be ready to put this thing away. She's got high on days. Not something we see too often. Wheelbarrow. High on with the counter. And there's oh. the beauty sleep. Good night. Hooks the leg. That One, will be it. two, three. There and high on retains the VWR championship. There is a whole lot of international flair inside the squared circle for tonight's Generation Championship Wrestling Women's Championship match. The challenger, of course, from Cairo, Egypt. And our champion, Queen Aminata, both ladies from the continent of Africa, different countries, but representing internationally very, very well. And this should be a hard-hitting contest if it is anything like any other match we have seen from Queen Aminata here at GCW. Referee Chelsea Durden has the honors and the privilege of calling this match and you gotta believe as a competitor here with us here in GCW and other shows that she is going to be really watching the action here. I know that she has her sights set on collecting some gold herself. I'm not sure she really was uh, ready for everything that Sahara just had for her there, but nevertheless, She's finding out that both competitors are ready. She thinks that they're ready to go. Calls for the bell, and we are officially underway. Once again, welcome to the Love of Wrestling 3. This is here in Sanford, Florida, at CrossFit Exalted. My name is the young professor, Matt Grafer. I'll be calling the action for you here. This crowd quieting down. Is Bowing to the queen. <laughs> Bowing to the queen is the challenger. Sahara showing some reverence for our champion. Ah, a bow from the champion immediately followed up with a sign of disrespect that slapped straight across the face of Queen Aminata. Strong snapmare takeover. A kick connects. Wait a minute, went for another kick. Gets rolled up instead. Rolls right on through though, comes the queen. But she gets a sharp right hand right across the mouth from Sahara Seven. Snap mare from Sahara now. Off the rope, she goes and a kick. Both women now showing off that they have studied one another's maneuvers. And they're not afraid to use them. The champion. Retreating into the corner now, trying to gather herself. We have seen Queen Aminata go to many a war. Many, many times over. Queen Aminata now circling Sahara 7. Queen Aminata collected the GCW Women's Championship back in December at our inaugural Diamond Cup event. Some of the finest women's professional wrestlers in the entire world were in attendance and in that tournament. 
Queen Aminata outlasted them all, knocking off Tesha Price, who now finds herself frequently on AEW Dark. She also, in the very end of the night, in the finals, after defeating Shaw Guerrero, she squared off against Sky Blue, who we saw here earlier this evening, and they had quite the battle themselves. Queen Aminata last time squared off against Ray Lynn in a very hard-hitting contest for the Legend of the Medallion just a couple months ago. And here tonight, putting the gold on the line once again, this time against Sahara, grabbing herself a front row seat. Champion's advantage here. She cannot lose that title by count out. So it is really up to the challenger to give chase and make it happen for herself if she's looking to pick up a victory here tonight and become the new GCW Women's Champ. But speaking of champ, there goes Queen Aminata throwing caution to the wind and a violent suicide dive right out onto the floor. She collided hard with the challenger. Both women going down here. The champion back to her feet first, but you can tell already that high risk maneuver has taken a toll on the champion before we're even really out of the gate here. She holds up the challenger. Oh, massive overhand chop over to the chest of Sahara. Queen Aminata being methodical in her approach here, but the challenger strikes back with a chop of her own. Leaves the champ reeling. Forearm shots from Queen Aminata. Incapacitating the challenger. Rolls her back into the ring. Now the champion having a few words with some of the fans here in the front row. Sahara still clutching her chest after that shot. And I think Queen Aminata might be hanging onto her chin after catching a forearm like that. You know, this is something that we are quickly becoming known for here with Generation Championship Wrestling. Cover there from Queen Aminata is the hard hitting matches that we have here every single time we put on an event with Generation Championship Wrestling. Our women's matches are some of the hardest hitting, in your face, smash mouth displays of athleticism that you will ever see. And I will put that up against any brand and any show anywhere. And I'm not just telling you that because they're paying me, folks. I'm telling you because I watch this month in and month out. I have the pleasure and the privilege of calling the action here. And Queen Aminata and whoever she's in there with come to swing for the fences. And you're seeing that here tonight with her and Sahara. The modified rings of Saturn now from Queen Aminata. And there she goes, continuing to wrench away at the challenger. Referee Chelsea Durden getting a stiff talking to from our champion. She apologizes before some vicious kicks to the ribs and the core of Sahara. A stunner across the second rope. Jack in the throat of Sahara. Now Queen Aminata continues to pursue the challenger. Aminata goes for that Irish whip. Counter now from Sahara. Comes in hot with a big splash in the corner. Sahara. Trying to use a little, uh, little bit of extra momentum here. Now, the, the posing for the crowd took a little bit of time away from punishing the champion, and that's coming back to bite her almost immediately. Queen Aminata, another big snapmare out of the corner. Oh, big falling forearm strike from Queen Aminata. Covers the challenge. You're going to retain. Not quite. Sahara barely gets that shoulder up, and I mean barely. I know I'm a little further away than Chelsea's, but I would dare say that those shoulders remain down. Nevertheless, this matchup continues. A couple of shots now from Sahara. 
Sahara off the ropes, gets caught, dropped toe hold, gets sent right into the second rope. And Queen Aminata. Huge kick from Queen Aminata. Right across the back of the head and sends the challenger slumping to the mat. Confident cover. Not enough to put away the champ. I don't know if she should be yelling at Chelsea Durden for that. I mean, I'll give our champion a whole heck of a lot of credit, and she deserves every bit of it, but when you cover someone like that, you can't expect to put them away quite so easily. The champ going right back to work here, stomping away. The challenger, unwisely, I would say, egging her on, and look at this. A little more taunting from Queen Aminata, using the rope. Oh, she misses there. Big tackle in the corner from the Sahara. There's a whole lot of rump smacking going on in this match. And it's getting used now to punish Queen Aminata along with a falling forearm shot with a whole heck of a lot of momentum behind it. Sahara drags out Queen Aminata. Cover. The champ kicks out. This one continues. Sahara pulling her hair back, now grabbing the champion. She's got her hooked up, side headlock now. Looks like she's got, oh wait a minute. It looks like she's going for some kind of fisherman suplex, but instead of the inside cradle. Kick to the midsection from the challenger. Looking for that suplex again, perhaps. Up and over. Nice suplex from Sahara. Sahara goes with the cover, hooks the leg. But Queen Aminata powers out of it. The champion on all fours, trying to get herself back into this thing. But the challenger can smell blood in the water. Things are going her way at the current time. She's just going to stay on top of her. If you give Queen Aminata an opportunity, she's going to take it. But that's a good way to take any of that away from her. That knee straight to the face. New champion here. Ah, uh, not quite. Aminata barely, and I mean barely, kicks out. This crowd is getting into things here. And who can blame them? Again, that smash mouth hard hitting offense that we are used to seeing especially in our GCW Women's Championship matches, is not disappointing once again here tonight. Some disrespect now for the Queen from the hands of the challenger as she continues to push her square in the face. Queen Aminata not taken kindly to that, and she is launching some big forearms with a little trash talk to back him up. Queen Aminata off the ropes. Wait a minute, a duck a clothesline attempt from the challenger. Queen follows her up, swings her around, short arm kick, catches her. A flatliner back into another submission. Continue to tear at the shoulder of Sahara Seven. The damn daughter of Anubis. Writhing in pain and agony. It's a long flight back home to Cairo, Egypt. It's even longer when you're not bringing home the gold. Egypt known for its many treasures, for its treasure troves of gold. Sahara trying to add to that here tonight by taking home the GCW gold, but not quite yet. At least she stays in it by breaking up the, the submission attempt from Queen Aminata. Queen Aminata now measuring the challenger, trying to figure out what should be the approach here in order to effectively put her away and retain that championship. Queen Aminata looking for that swinging neck breaker from the fisherman's position. Not quite, Sahara with that kick to the midsection hooks her up. A famous serve from Sahara Seven covers the champ, new champ. Oh, Queen Aminata kicks out. 
That right shoulder coming off the mat just in the nick of time. After all the matches we've watched here tonight, this is the first This Is Awesome chant, and I am inclined to agree. This is what we come to expect from Queen Aminata matches and from all of our women's division matches. Oh, look at this. Sahara's got her hooked up into a DDT. Violent impact, down goes the champion. Wait a minute, I thought she was gonna go for the cover here. Instead, repositioning Queen Aminata into a facing up position, a prone position. Sorry, I should say a supinated position. Not everybody enjoys when the professor gets a little bit technical with the terminology, but I want to be correct here. And that's a position she needs to be in. If the challenger is going to go upstairs and make some solid contact and go for a pinfall, it looked like she was going for a splash. The the queen gets up, and it's out of harm's way. Aminata now on the outside. She's looking up top. Heading upstairs herself. Perhaps she'll fare a little bit better than Sahara did. There she goes. That flipping senton. That's going to do it. Two. Oh, wait a minute. The challenger rolls her up. Another near fall. Oh, my God. Big kick from Sahara. This could be the opening she needs. She's got to follow up here. Oh, Sahara taking so much time. She drags Aminata back to her feet. Aminata seeing stars get slapped right across the face and Sahara gets caught with a forearm smash. That very well might have been a right hook. Full extended from the champion. That spinning neck breaker. Aminata, she's got to cover her here. Both women so exhausted, it's easy for me to play armchair quarterback and say they should do this, they should do that. I'm not feeling the pain that they are, but I also know how tough both of these women are, and I know if someone is going to put someone else away, it's going to require some quick prowess, the ability to follow up on big maneuvers. Queen Aminata heading back to that high rent, high risk district one more time. Another flipping senton, she connects. That's got to do it here. She's got her, she's got it wrenched in deep. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen.